So here we are with my version of the K7 TMG HF wireless thermometer. Let me quickly point out the various parts of it before it starts telling us the temperature again, which I think it's going to do in about 40 seconds. Here's the, um, where's my finger gone? Oh, where is my finger? Oh, there it is. There's the LM335 temperature sensor on rather long legs. I didn't clip them because I wasn't sure if that was going to be its final resting position. Uh, next to it, the 78LO5 voltage regulator. That white thing is the uh, ooh, that white thing is the calibration adjustment potentiometer. There's the AT Tiny85, and there's the crystal, the trim pot, and the uh, little the transistor there. The one transistor oscillator. It's a 2N. I think it's a 2N3904, but 2N2222 or anything similar would work great. I think coming up pretty soon, it's going to tell us the temperature. First in centigrade. Oh. 22C. Seventy-one F, twenty-two centigrade and seventy-one degrees Fahrenheit, and it'll do it again in about roughly a minute. Um, so yes, that's the circuit, and I, I think it's great because uh, here's what goes on: the uh, the temperature sensor outputs an analog voltage based um, on the the temperature. Uh, the AT Tiny eighty five takes that analog voltage on one of its inputs, uh, thanks to Sholto's wonderful code, uh, converts it to Morse code, and then keys. See that red wire there? It keys the positive supply line of this crystal oscillator. And what's amazing to me, uh, which I'm very pleasantly surprised at, is the fact that I was expecting a little bit of chirp. You know, if you, normally with transmitters, the practice is you have the oscillator running all the time and you key the PA, you know, the driver or the PA, uh, or both, of course. Um, and that way you don't have any chirp, but there's no chirp. It's great. Um, and I love that. Uh, it's also great from a current consumption point of view. Uh, the current... What a shock, the temperature hasn't varied in the last minute here in the Radio Shack. Um, yes, from a current consumption point of view, it's kind of great. Now, this oscillator consumes about 3 milliamps on key down when it's being keyed. The AT Tiny 85 consumes almost nothing. Now, I don't know whether Sholto's code powers the microcontroller down um, when it's not reading the temperature or whether it doesn't. It kind of doesn't matter, though, because, um, you know, when it's not powered down, even when it's active, it only consumes about... If I remember correctly about a quarter of a milliamp or less and then on power down when it's in sleep mode it consumes even less so either way it's not very much the big power hog in this entire circuit is the 78 lo5 which consumes all of four milliamps Woo, making the the average entire current consumption somewhere between four and five milliamps maybe around five milliamps which is still it's not a whole lot Anyway, this has quite inspired me. Um, I was going to mount this outside permanently with a, maybe a solar panel or a battery or something, but I think I'm just going to keep this in the shack to play around with, and it's inspired my next project. I think what I'm going to do is develop this into a Part 15 beacon. I'm going to, for my next project, I'm going to rebuild it, get rid of the, uh, n not include the temperature sensor and its associated components, but I'm going to build a little low-pass filter here. Uh, because this circuit, as it is, does put out quite a few harmonics. Although, of course, if you're using it without an antenna, it really doesn't matter. Um, but I'm going to put a little low-pass filter here, and then I'll reprogram the AT Tiny Five, AT Tiny Eighty Five, to output a continuous ID uh, or call sign with maybe a brief gap of a couple of seconds, um, and then put it on the uh, the Part Fifteen ISM band and see what happens. Maybe power it from a solar panel outside in the yard. So that's it. Um, that's it. That's the K7TMG wireless thermometer, HF wireless thermometer. Thank you, Sholto, for this um, for this wonderful piece of code that you've made public so we can use it. It's fantastic. And I'm going to go away now because... Um, I've had some coffee brewing in the French press, and it's been about three or four minutes, or however long this video is, and I, I need to drink it while it's uh, perfect before it's overbrewed. Thank you for watching. This has been AA7EE, and actually will continue to be, even after I switch the video off.